I really became quite interested in um, global health work, what now we call global health work, while I was in medical school. I think probably the most formative moment in terms of thinking about the conditions that shape health was after my first year of medical school when I did a, spent a summer working in Covenant House, a uh, shelter which uh, dealt with a lot of uh, homeless youth. And it was an immersion in a world where I really came to appreciate very rapidly that the lives of these youth that uh, Covenant House was serving is inextricably linked with the context in which they were born, with the lifetime, with uh, early child circumstances, with the context in which they were in, and that their life was going to be shaped by their context. Public health is about malaria, yes, but it's also about homelessness, racism, and poverty, and domestic violence, and access to care. And public health is about saying, what is it that's contributing to our life expectancy going down year after year? To my mind, compassion gets us to ask, what are the fundamental drivers of the conditions in which humans are in? What are the elements in our social interactions, in our built environment, in the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, that generate health? And that is, the goal of creating as healthy a world as possible to keep people as healthy as possible for as long a period of time as possible. I think I came to U of T and to medical school with a fairly romantic notion of what a doctor is. I came to medical school with the idea that um, the role of a doctor is to make people healthy. And I don't think I've changed. I, I, I still believe that, and I think it's still what animates my work. 